bullshit. Gotta talk to Valerie. You know where I caught her today? In Mr. Cecil's garage with that Fernandez boy. I, I don't even know what to say to her anymore. Don't say anything. What do you mean, don't say anything? Oh, we, you've got to talk to her. What difference does it make, Vi? She's only 13 years old. Besides, our little boy can't even get a heart on yet. George, Valerie is almost 14. Okay, okay, I'll talk to her about it. Look, I got something important I want to tell you. Well, that's important. I mean, it is important that I caught Valerie screwing in the garage. Yes, Vi, but I don't want to talk about it right now. Valerie is getting to be a problem. Bullshit. Look, she's a young, growing girl. She's just trying to find out what's happening between her legs. Oh, why don't you cut it out? You really don't care, do you? Of course I care. I just don't want to get into a thing about it right now. All you care about is putting on that damn uniform and gun and playing the big nigger cop. Well, I'm going to bed. You know what? I'm going to do just like you. I'm not going to care either. Hey, George. Tony? I just heard about your mother. How old are you? She's 12. Talk to Valerie. George, uh, I hear they passed over you again for sergeant. So what? Nothing, except that they did some juggling of the eligibility list. And if they hadn't upgraded Scalzo at the last minute, and you know Scalzo... The Man, what the hell are you talking about? Well, the next time the, the exams come up, they can't pass over you and me. Pellegrino, if you really believe that those examinations have anything to do with you becoming a sergeant, I mean, if you really believe that, man, you deserve to eat all they put on your table. What do you mean? I want to know what you mean! Why don't you just come out and say what you mean? Morning, Latimer. say I'm sorry. If there's anything I can do. Like what? I'm sorry. Sorry about what? What do you mean? What you so sorry about? All right, look, I don't want to get into any shit tonight. No, what you so goddamn right, look, sorry I don't want about? To Besides, I got to find me some quick cash. Look at 
relay systems charts read 3.1, 4 point seven, two oh five point one, five oh three point two, two oh seven point three, five oh four point three. I'll get it. Larma. Your mother. Wrong, George. It was a. It's the wrong number. Man, this bird is looking good, Jim. Yeah. Drip any grease on the grass, baby? I don't drip no grease on the grass. Yeah. Squeeze, baby. Damn, man, yeah. look at this. Suck it up, baby. Wasting shit every time I try to get loaded, I got to be wasting grapes and shit all over the table. I almost wasted that driving blow. This blow is really out of sight. Right on, man. Mm. Damn, man. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to go down to the unemployment office. They understand. Pick up my unemployment. <laughs> I'm not yeah. driving. Honey, how you gonna collect some unemployment, baby, when you ain't never had a jail, B? <laughs> Say, hey, brother, what it is? You gonna shoot us, man? Or you gonna let us go? You gonna bust us, man? Put us off in the joint? Take away our freedom. You got nothing but some silly shit here, baby. We ain't carrying nothing heavy. You know what I mean, brother? Just sitting here trying to make a clean little hustle, that's all. That's all, brother. Getting high and digging up on some sounds. Stand up. Man, what kind of shit is this? I to ask a nigga. Move over. Over there. You know, turn around and put your hands on the wall. No, man. Uh-uh. Ain't gonna be no days like that. Now, if you shoot me, you're gonna have to shoot me right in my face, Mr. Black P. Nigga, cop. Yeah, they mad at you, baby. Just trying to do his job like anybody else. Pointing that goddamn gun at us. Is that your job, nigga? Huh? Turn around and put your goddamn hands on the wall. No! No, goddammit. You black-ass pig. Okay, move. Up again. Come. You ain't shit, man. You ain't shit. Yeah, okay, all righty. Black Pete. I ain't got time to eat. Man, I don't know why I'm working this damn overtime anyway. Because we need the money. Oh, 
Would you stop by Fred's Market on the way home and pick up a couple of pounds of pig's feet? Black pig. Yeah. When did you start buying this crap? I didn't buy that stuff. You did. Did you call about my ticket? I'll pick it up today. Oh, and I put your black suit in the cleaners, too. It's too small, Vi. That's all you got? Be back home about one o'clock. Oh, will you please talk to Valerie tonight? Yeah, well, I want to know exactly what happened between her and that boy before I say one word. Jesus Christ, what the hell are you doing? We're going to be late. Captain Wolf, for shit. Captain Wolf can kiss my black ass. Let's go. Oh, boy, I never <laughs> damn overtime anyway. Nothing wrong with a little OT. Besides, I can use the bread again. <laughs> Overtime's all about. Never make it with overtime, baby. Take a bribe. Take a bribe like the big boys do. Who's coming here today? A couple of fat guys from the War Department. What guys from the War Department? Davy Crockett and the Lone Ranger. doing out here? Working overtime. Okay. Yeah, move 
move over a little bit. Yeah, closer, closer. Good. Good. Okay. Come on, Bobby, stand up straight. Look what the little lady sent us in case we got hungry, huh? <laughs> Look at that. What you got there, man? It's a hot dog. Damn. Come on, get on with it. Ha, 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 ha. What am I going to do? Anybody looking, George? Yeah, me. I'm looking all the way from your side. Hey, Here man. goes. Don't throw that crap on the moon like that, Bobby. Damn, Bobby, I can't take you anywhere with me. Come on, take my picture. Box, okay. That's what we want. Hey, you. What about that crater? Right up, Bobby, if we have time. George, George, this is Russell Lutz. What am I going to hear from you? Over. What's the matter, George? You're not talking to them down there? Oh, come on. Just take the camera and take my picture. Oh, watch out for the crater, George. Yeah, Don't yeah. go hey, swimming. Hey, 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 I'm falling! Watch out for the flag! The hell with the flag, man! I'm falling! What's going on up there? Open up again. George, are you all right, George? Yeah, 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 I'm all right. Get me up from here, you maniac, damn it. Come on, George. Pick yourself up. Help! I need some help out George, here! George, Let's have four men in here right away. Bitches are passing up again. Can you believe it? Everything okay? Any injuries? Make a notation. Black pole should be redesigned to withstand yes, the shock of a man falling. So. What? I don't have a pencil. I, I don't have a pencil. You, you don't have a pencil? George! I you been? Dr. Halsey's standing by. You better go and get checked out right away. It's been a long day, man. Work here's been new. Excellent. Look, uh, we'll check this lot out later after you fellas have rested, huh? What do you mean you don't have a pencil? You're my secretary. You're supposed to take important notes for me. Oh, mother. Sorry. Sorry. How come you snatched the goddamn flagpole out of my hand? Well, it was falling on the ground. Dirt. What? I'm sorry. But don't worry. It won't happen again when it's the real thing. Bobby. This is the real thing. And again, I must say, let me make one thing perfectly clear. Nice to have our boy serving the country like this. Hey, man, I'm gonna go relax in the car. You can't do that. Walsh is coming down here. Bobby, I can do any goddamn thing I want. For sergeants coming up again soon. You, uh, you gonna take it? No, man. Why not? What are you going to lose? You might get lucky. You might hit it this time. Man, I don't want to be anybody's goddamn sergeant. Not anymore. Come on, why don't you play the game? You might get... Maybe they're ready for it. <sighs> man, these people got a lot to get together before they're going to be ready for me. <laughs> And you know they don't want us to make it. Yeah, yeah. Look at those examinations. Yeah, I know. The exams are full of crap. Yeah. That asshole captain of ours. How in the hell did a dumb bastard like him become a captain? He knows how to play the game. He's got his nose in the right place. He knows how to kiss ass. No shit. Now you hit the nail That's right on top of the head. Okay, okay. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Come on.
You dropped that knife! Got it under control? Yeah, I got it. You all right? Yeah, but the uh, guy back there is bleeding like a pig. Handcuff. I'll come in and open the door. This open. Wide open. Door to a whole new world is wide open. What's the matter with you, girl? You drunk? You drunk? in bed. Do not pass go. <laughs> go to jail. Go directly to jail. <laughs> go to jail, go to jail, go to jail, go directly to jail. You've been taking this crap? <laughs> Huh? You want to take a crap? <laughs> All right, brother. <laughs> Johnny's over there. Yeah. The Johnny's over there. <laughs> Didn't I tell you I was coming by here today? <clears throat> huh? <clears throat> Is he coming by here today? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta fix you a drink. I don't want to drink. No, no, you need to drink. I don't want to drink. Oh, well, you do uptight. Just do uptight, and I gotta get your head right. Just gotta get your head right. I didn't come here to get no damn drink. Well, see, I'm going to fix you one anyway, because that is what you need to get your head straight, you see? Now, you just come over here and just try a little bit of this, and you I didn't come here to drink. Oh. Hey, you want to eat something? No. Oh, well, you see, that's what you need. You see, old Funky Viola doesn't cook the right kind of food for you. See, she doesn't cook good old greens, and ham hocks, cornbread, kind of... Food to make your hair stand on end. Come here, girl. Come here to eat. What's your problem? <sighs> Look here, girl. You better get your head together. I'll call you tonight at the club. Hi, hi. 
Now it's the club. Yeah. Tell the man to fix that door. Talk to you later. Fix the goddamn door. Fix the goddamn door. You only put two nickels in the box. You talking to me? Yeah, the first 40. You owe me 30 cents. Hey, what you talking about, chump? I put 40 goddamn cents in this box. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I just made a mistake. I thought maybe... You thought. It. You thought. Don't think, chump. Count. Your ass always thinking. You see that brother? Dive-ass bus drive even tried to tell us what to do. Let me get him together. That's why I got to carry me a damn piece. Blow some of you smart chumps away. Hey, I wasn't so damn tired. I do the thing right here and now. I'm talking to you. Hey, mother, you want me to pull out my thing and blow you a new hole? Hey! What's you on your pocket? Nothing, brother. You're getting kind of serious on me, ain't you? Turn around, put your hands on the window. What? Turn around, put your hands on the window. Damn, brother, you the man or something? I ain't got nothing but a bottle of wine. Police! 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 I told you. I told you I didn't have nothing but a bottle of wine. I told you, didn't I? And I tell you, I didn't have nothing but a bottle of goddamn wine. Drop the bag. A goddamn bottle of wine. Turn around. Go around. Now spread them. Spread them. I got here. You always carry a gun, my man. You look hard enough, you see we're both wearing the same goddamn badge. Turn around. Turn around. Open your coat. My ID's in the inside pocket. Sorry, man. I, it looked like you were trying to... And well, next time, baby, you better look before you leap. You're gonna get yourself in a whole lot of trouble. Sorry. Well, what can I say? I...
Seven Sam twenty eight. Seven Sam twenty eight. Phone the station. Eleven L thirty. Roger. Eleven L ninety three. Eleven L ninety three. Eleven L twenty. Cheap bastard. By your mother, I. Uh... I asked Captain Walsh not to say anything. Big belly, bad. Breath, son of a bitch. I'll tell you something, George. I'm glad he told me. That's right. Because you wasn't going to tell me, and I could see something was wrong, and I didn't know what Oh, my man. Thank you very much for thinking. But I'm fine. I'm just fine. Split? Man, you know I don't play that cheap shit no more. Oh, Mr. Goody Two Shoes, huh? Man, I ain't looking to make nothing on this goddamn police department. Your ass. Here, yeah, take it for the funeral. How much time are you taking off? I'm not taking any. Then find a restaurant along here. Let's get something to eat. I'm hungry like a goddamn champ. Wait a minute. Look at here. Look at here. What are you okay. hmm? hmm? <laughs> yeah, that bitch of yours is good for something, ain't she? Yeah, you leave my old lady out of this. She gives good head and she makes a fantastic meatball sandwich. <sighs> That's all you need? Damn right. How many times I got to tell you to lock the front door? As long as I'm here, there's something I want to talk to you about. Now, your mother was telling me about uh, you and that Fernandez kid. And I want the truth. Now, I want to know what happened in that garage. Valerie, are you listening to me? Yes, Daddy. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm, I'm just tired. Tired from what? School. Did you take something? No, Daddy. What did you take? What did you give me that? Some pills. How many did you take? Why? Where'd you get them from? Two. Okay, I want you to take your clothes off and go to bed and go to sleep. Pills. Pills. Why? What difference does it make? You don't care what I do anyway.
fix it so you won't be dealing for a while, baby. You need more, baby? You need more? You black, stinking nigger bastard. You're gonna have to do more than you're doing. You think you want me to? Okay, mother. What the hell's the matter with you, Latimer? Are uh, you crazy or something? You can't go around beating up on a citizen like that. I can do any goddamn thing I want. Like hell you can. He was pushing dope. So what? Wasn't in my precinct. Latimer! How's a hand? It's fine. Well, uh, go and get it checked out. You need some time, take it. Take all the time you need. You're a good cop, George. Don't go louse everything up just because your mother died. You're looking for trouble, Latimer. You're gonna find it, believe me. You want to get rid of that goddamn badge? You will. We'll have it off of you. See, I have this friend who works at the White House. His name is Richard, and, and he's a janitor. And I promised him, a very good friend of mine, I promised him that if, if I made it to the moon, that I would name the lunar module after him. Richard. Oh, Captain Richard. Latimer, how long did you go Latimer. one at a time, please, you, sir. Yes, Captain Latimer, how were you selected to be one of the first men to go to the moon? Well, I was, in, I was in desperate need of a job, and I was at the unemployment office, and um, it was a bulletin for Manpower Incorporated. I filled out the application, and after that, it was all very easy, and I, I always like to fly anyway. What are the greatest fears that come with being an astronaut? The only one. The uh, very prominent fear that maybe we are not wanted out there with our human debris. Captain Latimer, what yeah. has the training for the flight been like? Isolation. Uh, isolation, sort of uh, 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 like waiting at the mailbox for your welfare check. You know what I mean? What else? What else? What else? Reflections. Reflections. Uh, double reflections. It hurts your eyes. Sort of makes you blind. What do you hope to find on the moon? Some uh, dirt and uh, some rocks. And anything that'll tell us about the moon. Captain you know? Latimer, why do the scientists need this information? Well, um, to be perfectly honest, I don't know, but I, I, I guess they know. At least I, I hope they know. You suppose maybe they don't know? I mean, uh, I don't know. I know the other astronauts don't know. Do you know? Do you know? Captain Latimer. Yeah. Soon you'll be traveling a quarter of a million miles in space to reach the moon. What will you be doing in space? I mean, what will you and your fellow astronauts be um, thinking about on your long, long journey into outer space? What was that question again? Look, I've been waiting for 45 minutes Someone now. I'll be with you in a minute. Look, I just want to get an x-ray. Can't you call upstairs I and arrange it? I told you you'll have to wait your turn. Now, oh, wait a minute now. Now you look here. I've already told you twice. But I'll see if I can get someone if you'll just bear with me. Yes, right Hurry, hurry. Is she dead? Hurry, hurry. He's all right. Hurry. It's okay, fellas. I'm the flight director, Russell Walsh. How is he? He's been sleeping for the last hour. Oh, whatever his vital signs. Normal. I want an hourly check, mate, for the next 24 hours. Yes, sir, Mr. Walsh. George, how you feeling? Fine, fine, just fine. You gave us all a scare, man. Just want to find out whether or not you cared. The medical staff will agree you did not sustain any injuries whatsoever. Uh, we still want you to stay overnight though, for observation. As far as we know, there's been no link to the press about your accident, and uh, we'd like to keep it that way. I... I bailed out of that limb at least one whole minute before it exploded. There was no indication of a malfunction at the controls. But I heard a voice. A voice? 
voice? I heard a voice. And it kept saying to me, get out of this machine. Get out of this machine. No kidding. Well, let's just be thankful you're not hurt and the fight will get off on schedule. Meanwhile, uh, <laughs> you start. Now, anything you want to need, all you got to do is ask. Boy, I've got to run. Press briefing in 15 minutes. I'll stop by and see you first thing in the morning. Oh, and George, please don't fall out of bed, George. I want to run for Congress next year. Bye. See you in the morning. Nurse? Yes, sir? I was uh, feeling a bit hungry. I'd like to order something to eat. Certainly, sir. What do you like? Uh, a cup of apples, oranges, tomatoes, grapefruit, crackers, unsalted, and um, some barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken? Will that be all, sir? I was, uh, have a little itch here. Yes, sir. Take off your uniform, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. To order your food, sir. I won't be needing that food right now. What's your name? Beulah May Swenson. Beulah May Swenson? Beulah May Swenson, yes. Forgotten country, Lieutenant? No, sir. Forgotten Beulah May Swenson. That boy shit, old man. Oh, listen, boy. If you wasn't so damn big and I wasn't so damn old, I'd beat you right down to your kneecaps. Then I'd beat your goddamn kneecaps. <laughs> okay, old man, you win. You got the power. <laughs> Georgie, Georgie, how are you? Fine, Tim, just fine. How are you? <laughs> oh, so damn lonely. I can hear my teeth decay. Sit down, sit down, yeah. Georgie. What's the place like, Tim? Well, it's just like any other kind of prison. But I suppose it's a lot better than being all alone out there in the world. You all still at it? Yeah. Same old crap. Yeah. 
bought something for you. All the way from Kentucky. Oh, Georgie, Georgie, that is beautiful. The only thing that makes any damn sense at all. Here, here, open it up so I can take the poison off. Clean your pipes, Georgie. No, can't do any drinking, Tim. I got work tonight. Still on the graveyard, huh? Yeah. It's easier. You know what I mean. I know what you mean. Ah, oh, that's good bourbon. Good bourbon. Hell, give me a drink. Captain Walsh can walk my goddamn beat tonight. <laughs> Not such a bad place, Tim. Uh, What's there to do around here all day? No, there's nothing to do. All I can do is dream. That's what happens, you know, Georgie, when you get old. Nobody gives a shit about the way you feel anymore. Yeah. Just wish I didn't have to be so scared all the time. When I was a young man, I, I wasn't afraid of anything. Hard to get used to being scared. Strange time of life, getting old, feeling useless, shriveling up, growing smaller. That's what happens, you know, you grow smaller and smaller until you're too small for your body. Wonder. I wonder what all that means. I wonder if it means anything at all. I, I just wish life didn't have to be so goddamned unpleasant at the end. Georgie. It's yours, Georgie. I want you to have it. I got no use for it anymore. Catherine bought it for me a long time ago. Long after I knew I couldn't shoot a gun anymore. Well, anyway, I, I want you to have it. I don't need it, Tim. The one I'm carrying right here is he heavy enough. No, no, Georgie, I want you to have it. I gotta go, Tim. No, 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 George. You stay a while longer. No, I, I gotta go, Tim. I got, I got work tonight. The hell with those sons of bitches down at the precinct, guardians of the people, goddamn executioners. Thirty, thirty-five years of my life I gave to those sons of bitches. Do you know what they gave me, Georgie? I wouldn't. A wooden plaque. Yeah, a cheap wooden plaque. It's not worth 35 years of a man's life, is it? Is it, Georgie? I gotta go, Tim. No, I gotta go. Depends upon the three of us together. Right. <laughs> Been at it too 
long, Tim. Baby, you have to get up. <laughs> Your dear wife is expecting you. <laughs> Would you rather lay here all day with me instead of having to go home to a funky Viola? Baby, I'd like to lay here all the time with you. All the time. you doing? Just taking a picture of my man. There. Yeah. It's all right. It's not broken. George? What? I need about $15. Can you let me have it? All I got is twelve dollars and twenty-five cents. Okay. That's enough. Talk to you later. George. George. What are you sleeping out here for? Why don't you go in there to bed? I wanted something cold. Oh, do you want me to fix you something to eat? No, I'm not hungry. Are you all right? Yeah. Why don't you go to bed? You look tired. Yeah, I guess I will. Oh. I got everything ready for in the morning. Your ticket cost $110 round trip. And your black suit's back from the cleaners. I'm not going to a funeral, right? George, you've got to go to your mother's funeral. I don't, I don't want to go all the way to Alabama to be with a lot of sad people. Singing and, and, and praising the Lord for all the fucking pain.
it's me, George Latimer. I've come back home. You invited me here. Is anybody here? Answer me. What's the matter with you people? Don't you realize that I've walked on the moon? I've walked on the moon. What have you done, you, you faceless mothers? It's me, George Latimer. I just got back from a trip to the moon. I was born right here in this town, right back up there on Sugar Hill Road. My dear old sweet mama still lives. Mama. Mama. I walked, I walked on the moon, Mama. I walked on the moon. You should have gone to the funeral. If I am going to quit my job. Nigga pig! Nigga cop. Mr. Goody Two Shoes. Pass over you, Black P. Nigga! Damn, brother. My man. Some pills. Nigga bastard. Black bastard. You're crazy. Why don't you go to bed? We'll talk about it later. After you're over this thing. No vibes today. Right now. I'm never going to put on a cop's uniform again. George, you know you're just upset about your mother's funeral and end of everything. No. No, it's a lot more than just that. And I'm... I'm tired of having to look at all the shit I see every time I go out there in the streets with that, that gun strapped to my hip. I've been living that way for 12 long-ass years. I used to really think I was going to make it.
Yeah. I had me some plans. Twelve years as a flat-footed cop. For what? No more uniforms. I ain't going out there to fight the man's war. No more. How can you just not go to work? You have a family. And you've got to think about your family. I'll make it. I'll get another job. Doing what, George? I want a home for us. That takes money. Viola. Don't you understand that I don't give a fuck about the money anymore? Can't you see I'm trying to change our lives? Man, the old way is bullshit. I don't want to live that way anymore. Why? I, I, I know people out there who, who hate me because I'm a cop. I, you, you know what that feels like? I, I, I put on this uniform and I go out there in the streets and people look at me and they hate me. That's because you're a mean, selfish man. You don't give a damn about nobody but well, yourself. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I got two children in there that I have to take care of. Oh, I know you don't give a damn about them. I care about my kids. But I mean You're to give them a chance. I care about my kids. And if you leave them hanging like you left me hanging for 12 long years, yeah, well, I've been George, taking, taking I swear care on your too, mother's grave, I'll Who the hell you think been paying the bills around here? I'll be for every painful moment you've ever given me. Viola! God damn it, you can kiss my ass. Man, you haven't listened to not even, not even one word I said to you since the day we met. Don't you never said anything worth listening to. And I'm getting the fuck out of here. You never said anything, George. Damn you, you never said anything.
Talk to you about something. Oh, honey, I ain't done nothing in two weeks. <laughs> Been worked out in a long time. Where's your coat? It's over there by the door. Come on, let's get it. Where are you going, baby? I'm going somewhere with George. Well, I don't pay you to go out with George, so where are you going? She's going out with me. Listen, George, just because you're the man does not give you the right to come in my joint and take away my help from their jobs. I can do any goddamn thing I want. Come on, baby. Come with me, George. Come on, you little bitch. I... 
Baby, I want to get out of this goddamn city. And do what? And what are you going to do for money? Look at me! I don't have a job! I don't have any money! I don't have anything! What about my career? What about it? Can you help me? What can you do for me? You don't have anything! Don't you understand that I don't... I don't give a fuck about the money anymore! Conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. I pressed your uniform. Cleaners didn't do such a good job of it. You want me to fix you something to eat? Need some money. Why don't you stay home tonight?
I'll see you in the morning. What time is it? 3.35. It's quiet. Yeah. Everybody's sleeping. I've been thinking. Switching over to days. Want some salad? Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah? You know anything about unidentified flying objects? You mean flying saucers? Yeah. Well, I know a lot of people believe in them. A lot of uh, important people. You believe in them? Yeah, I believe in them. You? Yeah, why not? You think they trying to come down here? I don't know. I don't know why the hell they want to come down here. I'll tell you one thing, though. If they do come down here, they better not land in the good old U.S. of A. Yeah, why not? They get wiped out. Come on, what are you talking about, they get wiped out? How do you know what they're going to bring with them? They could have anything. Laser beams, underwater devices, invisible soldiers. Get wiped out. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, look here. America can wipe out anything. Hey, yeah, don't come down here. <laughs> hey, don't come down don't here. Don't come down here. We got Richard don't Nixon come down, down here. here. <laughs> we got we got Agnew, the golfing giant. <laughs> don't come down here. <laughs> Look here, come on, let's take a little walk. I don't want to walk. I want to sleep. Yeah. I'll be back in 15. You got it. Yeah. One of these mornings, I'm gonna take a vacation. Yeah. By a quiet, very peaceful shore. Damn. 
Let you make it even if they let you Even if they let you Where would you go anyway When you finally arrive Get out of this machine. 